The second lesson that will keep our accelerated achievements afloat has to do with debt. And on this, I want to pose a national question. How much is too much borrowing? When does borrowing become too much and unbearable to a nation? The only time debt is a burden to a nation is if a nation is led by looters. But in the hands of a visionary administration, debt is a catalyst for rapid development. And I will give but one example. When South Korea achieved her economic miracle in a record 25 years, it also achieved the rank of being the fourth most indebted nation in the world. But the South Koreans did not call it debt. They called it using other people's money to advance their cause. What this means is that nations that have advanced have not necessarily used their own money, especially when they are not endowed with natural resources. They have borrowed from others to catch up and to become world economic leaders. And the national question, therefore, to us today is not whether debt is good or bad. The more legitimate question has to do with what the next administration will do with borrowed funds. Will they end up in the private pockets or will they be used to accelerate economic advancement? On my part, I believe we have used other people's money to close our infrastructure gap to connect our markets. For example, when a maize trader in Kitale previously would take three days from Kitale to the border with South Sudan, with what we have borrowed and the roads we have built, we have ensured that that man from Kitale can be at the border of South Sudan in just five hours, not three days. <laughs> Similarly today, any trader can travel on a tarmac road to five, to four, out of our five, out of five of our neighboring countries and do so in record time. If we can transport 10 times more passengers with the SGR at half the price and at half the time and move three times more cargo daily from Mombasa to our neighbors, then our borrowing has surely been worthwhile and paid tangible bad dividends. So to maintain the tempo of increased and accelerated achievement, the next administration should not shy away from using other people's money. Debt in a cleaned up government is an enabler, not a burden. 